Hello, this is Jonas Liesenfeld and here's another violin lesson for you. Um, I hope you have a good time practicing and um, so here it comes. I want to dedicate this lesson to another exploration of our bow. And as we talked in the last lesson about the bow movement, there are some other movements to um, consider and I call this violin lessons tights and a surfboard. So, what do I mean by tides? In tides and um, the sea life you have different altitudes of, uh, of the water and we have the same in the, in the bow, different levels on the string. One is here, the, the D string. Play it on the tip of your bow and see how the arm movement gets explored. You can also play double strings. And in the end, if you count them all together, you will have a seven different positions for your tights. So the first one is the G string, then G and D, then D, then D and A, then A, a and E and the E string on the very bottom. Right. So the other movement which is really important and um, is not um, regarding the arm at all is the surfboard. And I call it the surfboard because if you look at the violin, I hope my camera gets it sharp, you see like a little wave on top of it here. And we want to put our hand directly on this wave and try to find a little bit of, of balance. And also, when, we, when you look at my arm, to make the bow movement, I don't need the arm at all, but just my fingers to get them moving. And here, you can try to play the G string. You can play, uh, try to play the double stop, G, D, the D, D and A, A string, and A and E. And at the very bottom, just the E string. So, try to get a good sound with that and try to get a smooth movement. And you might go even one step further. And this is because you could hear something because I was moving the bow in this direction. If you leave out this movement, you just have the positions. Try to explore how that feels to you, how that feels to your bow arm. And if you have a piece, for example, an Irish tune, Try to play it without sound on the tip of the bow and also also at the surfboard. So I hope that was a good insight for you and um, keep on practicing and keep on having fun on the violin and uh, check out these extreme areas of playing. And in the end if you have practiced them enough, try also to connect them and try to get a fluent melody and enjoy the sound again. <laughs>